Well, are you guys ready to see a guitar neck made completely out of glass? Here we go, let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having an excellent day today. In this box is a guitar neck made completely out of glass. So I'm super excited about today's video. We're gonna unbox it, check it out, install it on a guitar, and check out some tones. Well, let's not mess about and let's open this baby up. Now I've never seen a neck packed like this before. So I've got my drill. Let's open this thing up and check it out. All right, are you guys ready? Let's open it up and check this thing out. Look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness. Let's pull it out, take a closer look. Oh crap, look at that, you guys. That is insane. All right, let's switch camera angles and take a closer look. So here's the glass guitar neck in all its glory. I mean, you can see everything through the headstock. So cool. And then the fingerboard is a little frosted, but you know, as you're playing it, you can totally see your hand kind of moving up and down through the neck. Incredible effect. So this was made by Alex from Morningstar Glass Guitars. Absolutely incredible. So we'll talk about the specs on the neck in a second, but I just wanted to show you guys, fingerboard is a little bit textured. I'll see if the camera will grab that. So a little bit textured on the fingerboard. And then as you come to the headstock, totally clear. Here's a cross section. Hopefully the camera's grabbing that, but check it out. So. This is not plexiglass, this is not some sort of polymer, it's not acrylic, this is glass. Now working with glass takes an incredible amount of skill, time, patience, and effort, which makes something like this pretty incredible. Now when we look at that heel joint again here, uh, there's three pieces of glass to this neck. There's your main piece right here, which is your heel joint and the main neck profile. And then you've got your sub fingerboard and that runs the entire length of the neck and kind of comes out right past the nut there. That little angled piece looks really cool. And then the final piece is the fingerboard. And what makes that incredible is there's actually a radius on this. And if you've worked with glass before, you know how difficult that can be you know, to actually radius something. So pretty incredible. Let's look at the specs on this neck and figure out exactly what Alex used. Now, first things first, we've got a three plus three headstock design with Grover locking tuners, which is absolutely fantastic. Anytime you can use locking tuners, that's a win. Now, when we look at the back side of the neck here, you may notice that the tuning machines are not actually drilled into the headstock but the posts to locate the tuning machines were grinded off by Alex, and then he uses epoxy to attach them to the back of the headstock. So Grover locking tuners, three plus three design, looks really cool. Now as for the nut, this is a true bone nut, so hopefully it will stop the strings from hanging up in there and help the guitar hold tune. And I really like how Alex kind of made this little piece right in here, kind of angled down like you'd see like the rosewood after the nut on like a fender neck. So a really cool, nice touch with the glass there. And you can actually see the volute through the headstock there. You can see those lines. And if I flip it over, you'll see what I'm talking about. So there is even a little bit of a volute right here, which kind of makes that transition from you know, the, the back of the headstock into the main portion of the neck, nice and smooth on the back of your hand as you're playing. Now on the front face of the neck, we've got stainless steel frets, which is always a great option. So locking tuners, bone nuts, stainless steel frets, we're looking pretty good. And here you can see, you know, a pretty good look at the texturing on the neck as well. It looks pretty aggressive, but when you actually, you know, just feel it, it's just a very slight texturing, you know, something like rosewood. All right, so let's do a quick test fit just to make sure everything is good. Alex says this should fit Strat, Tele, Jazzmaster kind of situations. And of course, this is a Telecaster body by Shock the Fox. We're gonna be doing this build 
uh, probably in a couple weeks. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so because this body is insane. So gorgeous. So anyway, let's see if this is going to fit. There we go. So fender neck joint should be no problem. Super tight. Dang, that actually does look pretty cool together. Anyway, I'm not using this neck on this build. I've got something else special planned, but I got to say that doesn't look too bad. Talk about like crazy. That'd be a crazy build. Anyway, uh, so here we go. It looks like fender is good to go. I'm going to grab, I think my super strat and let's try this neck on that guitar. All right, I've got the DBG Super Strat here. I'm going to pull off the strings and let's remove the neck. Well, now for the moment of truth, let's try the Morning Star with the Strat body. And as you guys could hopefully see here, this is a Warmoth body, but it should be the same. Obviously, I had a fender neck on this. Boom, nice fit. Good job, Alex. Yeah, really nice and tight. So <laughs> I think we're going with this black and clear aesthetic. Uh, at least to test the neck out. I'm going to flip it over. Let's attach the neck. All right, so let's put the screws in. I think I'm just going to get them snug and then do it by hand. I'm not exactly sure, you know, how hard I should go with the drill. I think I best be on the conservative side here. And last one. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and snug it up by hand. Well, happy to say it bolted on without any fuss at all, just like a normal Strat neck. And I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna get some strings on this baby. We're gonna string it up, do some playing for you guys, see what it sounds like. Stay tuned, I'll be back when the strings are on. All right, you guys, now for the fun stuff, we've got the strings on the Super Strat. Let's plug this in, see what a guitar with a glass neck sounds like. <laughs> So as you guys can hear, it sounds pretty much like any other guitar. When we go to the neck, we can still get a really nice thick and creamy tone. And when we go to the bridge, lots of nice, you know, bright crunch. Now the strings are still breaking in, but let's go and let's play in the neck pickup a little bit, see what that sounds like. Really thick and beautiful. And I gotta say, do you guys think that sounds more like rosewood or maple, maybe ebony? Just kidding. It just sounds good. It just sounds like a great guitar. So no worries there. Let's split the coil, see if we can get some glassy Strat tones.
So the next big question is, well, what does it feel like to play? That's really important too. I mean, it looks awesome and I love the fact that you can see all the fret markers through the back of the neck. I mean, the thing looks amazing, but what does it feel like to play? And to me, it feels like playing on a guitar with a painted neck. So a Les Paul or, you know, a 335 or a PRS or something like that. So not quite as smooth as like a satin maple. Um, but not super sticky as well. So I think that's the main thing. And the neck profile is super comfortable. If you're used to playing on a Fender, uh, you're gonna like this. The radius is a little flatter, so it's closer to like a Les Paul radius. So nice and flat on the front, um, but in terms of the, the neck profile, very, very comfortable. Now, I think the only downside to a glass neck is it's gonna add some weight to your guitar. Glass is pretty heavy. So this guitar didn't have headstock dive before, and it does now. So that's one thing to consider is it does add weight. Now, Alex actually makes completely glass guitars too. So I would say, you know, check out his website if you wanna see how this stuff is made. He did a whole video on the process of making like a complete glass guitar. You guys gotta check that out, it's really fascinating. So I'll link to that in the video description below. But yeah, in terms of how it plays and how it sounds, I mean, I think it sounds fantastic and if you're you know wanting a parts caster build that is kind of unique and makes things stand out this might be the perfect fit because it is so you know incredibly unique but i mean stainless steel frets bone nut locking tuners um you know it's a nice high-end neck so if you're looking for you know a project that really turns some heads uh this might be for you but just bear in mind that you are going to add some weight um maybe check with alex for the exact weight on this um i should have weighed it before i put it on the guitar but anyway uh yeah just send him off an email and he'll have all the specs for you guys that way other than that, this was super fun to do. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can check out t-shirt store, tab store, all that stuff. Uh, the gear I use down in the video description below. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Time to get glassy.